our next expedition. Yeah. It's really cool at that time of the morning though because you've got all the wildlife. Oh, we've got hanging <laughs> up there. <laughs> oh, the baby. Yeah, we've seen a bunch of kangaroos jumping with the mug and we've seen, we've seen as well some emus. So yeah, it's quite cool when you go remote and you see them all in the habitat like that, happy jumping around. So this is one of the most remote locations we've been on our travel this year. Uh, it's really far when you actually head on the road, there's a sign saying there's no fuel, no reception, no food, nothing. So you need to be prepared to come here. So yesterday we have already deflated our tires. We chilled a little bit in a beautiful bay. We found like a beautiful little rock pool as well. Uh, so that was a nice way to start, you know, very slowly the expedition. And now we're going to tackle some more driving. We've never been here before too, so this is all new for us. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get up to. This is the kind of like narrow track where kangaroos can just jump in out of nowhere. Yeah, so. if you're unfamiliar with Australian wildlife, they are <laughs> suicide animals. So they will see you from a really long way away and then they will just gun for you. It's really bizarre and it makes no sense. And emus can be even worse than the kangaroos and they're big animals. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Adds a new layer of complexity to drive. Oh, rabbit! Oh. Well, speaking of them. See, they'll, they'll just pounce. Oh my god, how many are they? Any more? Oh, <laughs> so cute. I love rabbits. Oh, <laughs> it's like a wildlife safari. Get out the top uh, hatch. All right, I'm going to be in safari mode. <laughs> so cool. My rabbit spotting tower. Rabbit safari. I'm coming for you, rabbit. You're so cute! Oh, look at you! <laughs> oh, they're so adorable! They're everywhere! Be careful, rabbit! We're coming! Don't cross! <laughs> Doing driver. Doing good, this is enjoyable. My little rabbit safari. <laughs> What's up? There's two more. Okay, one has bell. I'm gonna try to find another road. There's another one on the left coming up. Ah, oh, on the way. So we had a really bad patch of corrugations for around 15 kilometers. Well, not enjoyable at all. But we survived. But we survived. That was a very, very bad stretch. Yeah. So now we are tackling the softer sand four drop truck. I show you the sign at the entrance. It's like a big letters avoid getting bogged and all like this warning, like that really scary warning. Like, yeah. This is the track we're gonna go. But we are experienced drivers. We have reduced tire pressure. We've got probably the best high clearance four drive vehicle available. And we've got four drive. And yeah, we should be fine. Let's do it.
amazing track so far. So, so cool. It was mostly soft sand, some little rocky patch, but nothing really technical. This is the part where it's getting a tiny bit more, I guess, technical, but nothing too bad. Got a good view over there. So good. Got lots of islands in front of us and a big bay. It looks quite sheltered here despite the wind, which is really nice. Ooh. Very sad. Still leaking too. Down to 10. Yeah, it's dropping fast. So this has just happened today. I said it's going to drop all the way to zero overnight. Oh, in the next hour, I'll say. That's where you want it to be. Is that where you want to be there? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that was pretty good. Can you hear this noise? This noise is what is trying to defeat us. So Chris has decided, we just arrived to camp, we're ready to kind of settle in and chill, but Chris has decided that he will tackle the flat tire today. So what is very likely happening is the tube, actually, it's nothing to do with the tire, it's the tube inside the tire, so that valve is just like constantly leaking air and fast. So Chrissy boy in action, not what we were hoping to do, but... Hopefully, this will be a three hour job at least. What is important right here is safety, so we're trying to think of everything to not rush. And uh, yeah, I'll try my best to help Chris as I can. Luckily, he's done that before, so fingers crossed. All goes well. In case some of you guys didn't realize when we bought the truck we actually replaced all of these tires so I've done this before and the big reason I did it myself I got a lot of flack online 
from some of you about the fact that this is very dangerous but the reason I did it on my own and didn't take it to a shop to replace all five tires is for this very reason because I knew this would happen at some point and I needed to be confident enough to be able to do it somewhere like this. The only thing I'm annoyed about is I don't have a heavyweight jack stand so all of the weight of the one corner of the Unimog is just on this 10 ton bottle jack. So the worst that I can see happening is the jack starts to lose compression. It's still going to keep the truck off the ground and then work out what to do from there. But ideally I would have a real heavy duty jack stand which I need to get a hold of. The other thing I'm missing out on is a large sledgehammer. All I've got is this which is only a four pound sledge. Luckily we bought this before our trip just in case something like this happens. So I've pulled the valve core out so that there is no air in here. Now this is a split ring wheel which are notoriously dangerous if put on incorrectly. So uh, no air in the tire means they're no longer dangerous for me. The only time I have to watch out is when we're filling it back up again. So I've got my two tire irons and tire levers. So I'll hopefully pop the ring off relatively easy. There shouldn't be too much rust this time. And then I've just got, got to go about unseating the rim, work out why the tube is leaking. We've been carrying a spare, so that's really good. And then worst case, if I can't get this tube to fill up again, we've still got the spare tire, but I'm really trying to avoid pulling that spare off because it is so difficult to get back on. So um, hopefully I can demount the bead and get this tire off the rim within a reasonable time frame. Last time I think my fastest one was three, three and a half hours, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> Happy days, the tire has held air overnight. 
We didn't film the finish, but basically just tightened up the nuts and we reversed the truck back here. This is the tube that I pulled out of the tire. I can't make it leak air again. It, it almost may have needed all that weight of the truck to show where the air leak is. My suspicion is it's where the valve stem connects with the tube. Somewhere along here, I'm, I'm guessing, is a leak. Um, it's held a little bit of air overnight, so yeah, it's a tricky one. Um, I don't really know what caused it. There was no rubbing marks on the actual tube itself in the tire. So yeah, we just put our spare tube in and um, seems to be holding air fine. So now it is time to jump in the water. It's really windy today, but the sun has come out. So I'm going to do a bit of a scouting mission today in preparation for tomorrow, which is meant to be much nicer weather. Yes, but time to enjoy. Yeah. sheltering inside for dinner. It's very windy outside and we just had a little feed. We cooked our badani that Chris got today and we both much better liked it than last time. Way less fishy. Yeah no fishiness at all and we can't quite work it out. <laughs> I rinsed it better in fresh water and added flour and lemon juice. Something yeah, neutralized more. any kind of fishing soda. That was delicious. Mm. It was like better than calamari. Mm. Eh? Yeah, that was sure. nice. Loved it. So really like that. I really like um, seafood cocktail sauce. Gives it like a bit of a tangy flavor. Just a little bit of that. So I've been enjoying that. Listening to an audio book called That's Lifespan, which is very interesting. Mm. And um, there's some. There's already been a few like light bulb moments in that book for me so far and I'm only like a quarter of the way through so it's okay. Yeah, it's nice to have actually that as a little entertainment, especially when you don't have internet, you mm. know, otherwise you get caught up looking at your phone and all that kind of thing. No, that that was quite nice. So we'll just I guess um listen a bit more of early night. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> and wake up tomorrow and do it all again. I'm here. The slippery. Ah, oh, Buski, look at you. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm just gonna bleed it. Yeah. So I'm to grab your pin. This bleeds. Thank you for being there for me. What do you have there? Another good sized blue grofer. Really happy with that. Nice big one. How was it in the ocean? It was okay today. It was much nicer than yesterday. Not many big fish around at all. This guy was well and truly the largest fish that I saw. We'll fill it up. Should get a bunch of dinners from that guy.
another beautiful day here that was such a nice day so chris when he came back from spare fishing we went on a walk just two kilometers around along the cliffs and we found some beautiful rock pool and some potential diving spot which look a lot deeper for chris the water is like so clear so tomorrow the weather forecast that we had on our phone is showing northerly and pretty calm so perfect diving condition so you know what we're gonna get up to so we're gonna have an early night tonight and wake up nice and early but before that i'm gonna make dinner so chris catch the fish i'm the one who cooks it which works very well for me so i'm gonna make some panko breadcrumbs blue grouper with a couscous salad rocket a bit of avocado some onion it's gonna be delicious so i'm gonna cook inside on induction because we've got just so much solar it's been unreal these past weeks i never had to check our energy drive system it just does it magic down there in that cabinet and i'll say going lithium is probably like the best thing that we've done on this build so yeah it's been amazing for that i'm gonna have dinner outside we've got like a beautiful banksia tree just in front of the mug this afternoon i was like in the cab of the mug trying to take a video of the birds around here they're just like so beautiful i managed to just get a little sneak peek of them so yeah it's gonna be a beautiful dinner spot and we'll see you probably tomorrow for that next bear fishing adventure Are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Leave base camp. Goodbye, pretty bird. Yeah. 